His trial is slated for April of next year. Well, bees, hornets, and wasps can be aggressive in the fall, and if you're not careful, that sting could be deadly. Tonight, a local man shares his story that could potentially save a life. I'm giving you one. 72-year-old Dave Kleberger visits the Prometica Physicians Allergy and Immunology Department for injections. Two years ago, he brushed up against a hornet's nest while mowing the lawn. And then my lips started swelling and my tongue started swelling. Dave went to the ER and was treated for a severe allergic reaction. Now he sees Dr. M. Razi Rafiq once a month. Where we inject small amounts of the allergen that they are allergic to in increasing you know, amounts in increments, so the body builds up a tolerance, builds up an immunity, just like you get a tetanus shot and you get an immunity for tetanus. Dave had no idea he was allergic to bees in the first place. I was stung when I was a young, younger fellow, and uh, I had no problem with a bee sting at all. And, and of course, I guess physiology changes, and here I am getting injections now. Today, Dave is getting three different injections. Doctors say a normal bee sting will be red and irritated at the sting site, but other symptoms? You're breaking out in hives all over, you're itching, your tongue throat is swelling, you feel weak, you feel like you're gonna faint, you have trouble breathing. That's the time you know, to immediately get medical attention. Besides the monthly injections, life hasn't changed too much for Dave. He just stays prepared in case he's confronted by a bee, hornet, or a wasp. And I keep my EpiPen with me, uh, just in case. So how do you avoid stings? Dr. Rafiq says wear long sleeves and pants when mowing the lawn and don't wear sweet smelling perfume and stay still if you are confronted by a bee. Well, are iPhones really waterproof? One man's discovery after he found an iPhone at the